Now, Ando, uh, I live with two other guys, yeah. and as young gentlemen uh, sometimes like to do, and I think are entitled to do, <laughs> we enjoy a snifter of beer at night and yeah. perhaps uh, entertain each other with raconteurish stories about the mischief we may have got up to, and, and I suppose on the odd occasion a fellow gentleman may join us, so there are more than three gentlemen in the house, and sometimes there's the company of a young lady or ladies, and we'll... You're not Sinatra. <laughs> we'll banter, not, banter yeah. merrily around the Gallagher machine yeah. with tales of wonder and, and adventure. Yeah. Our neighbours call these parties, oh. right? They're just... They're just chats. Yeah. They're just music-backed chats. Chats, yeah. And Sometimes drinks. the music too loud. It's too loud, so you have to chat louder. <laughs> I mean, we're just trying to cope. Yeah. We're just some kids in a world trying to make sense of it all mm. for ourselves. Anyway, a few of these musical chat sessions yeah. slash parties, parties, if yeah. you believe what the neighbours say, yeah. have uh, come to the attention of the neighbours and the police, therefore, uh, on a few occasions yeah. over the last few weeks. Now, a few in a row, it would be fair to say. <laughs> I mean, a few, right. few in a row. And if you said if you said Saturday night was party night, mm-hmm. right? You've had three in a row, three out of three. Sorry, do you live near me? Is that <laughs> whose side are you on here? I mean, sometimes you've been one of the gentlemen <laughs> having a rack on tourist I chat. I have enjoyed <laughs> a nip of whiskey, <laughs> of and course, a hilarious and a pipe, anecdote at a, a pipe. Yeah, yeah. bubble yeah. pipe, bubble pipe. Uh, Look after your lungs, kids. Of to- at time, yeah. yeah. Now, so, uh, yeah. the police Sorry, are well on your side. The police are often guests at these parties yeah. because we like to entertain all facets of society. Uninvited. They never often. drink. <laughs> they turn up uninvited. Yeah. They don't give us any fun stories. They never drink. And they don't bring a present. <laughs> and they leave. <laughs> but we're not arguing because they have guns. Look, it's come to my attention. A few neighbours here and there have said just, you know, through the, the medium of glaring mm-hmm. that they're not happy with these chat sessions. Yeah. And and I could sort of handle that. I was like, oh, I'm sure there are some neighbours around that like us. Yeah. That sort of see us as the, the neighbourhood fun, fun-loving guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's been brought to my attention. Um, they've picked a representative. Yeah. The neighbours have unionised. <laughs> they've banded together yeah. and they sent round a representative. It's almost a coup. <laughs> it's a coup. Yeah. It's a coup. Uh, yeah. We're now surrounded by a hostile native force. Yeah. Very much like Avatar. Yeah. Um, they've sent around this guy to yeah. just negotiate. Yeah. Keep it down. Your chat sessions are out of hand. Yeah. We've done a bit of, we're very sorry we weren't aware. And, and you know, full credit to them. They've, uh, you know, they've got families and they probably don't want chat sessions. The party, yeah. Musical chat sessions yeah. happening no. to all hours of the morning. And so we take Sometimes that on board. six in the morning. Whatever the hour is, yeah. it's hard to keep track. It is. Because with these chat sessions, the <laughs> clock gets very hard to read. <laughs> The longer these chat sessions yeah, go on, exactly. And look, and and we we're very humble, and uh, and I, I do feel sorry for the neighbours. Um, <laughs> oh come on! Because give us a spell. You don't at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, I do. You know, I am forced to now because we're clearly outnumbered. Forced. I thought that if I was ever to very do a big difference between forced to and I do feel sorry for. I've them. been forced to feel sorry, and now I'm beginning to see the error of our ways. Yeah. Because I'd always sort of held the belief that if uh, if the chips were down, we could go around the neighbourhood and rally up a bit of support yeah, for yeah, our side. Yeah. You know, fellow chat session yeah. lovers, we'd do a bit of, we won't complain about you if you don't complain about us. Mm. Turns out that they have unionised. Mm. They now have everyone in the immediate vicinity of our household is part of their lobby group. Yeah. And they got us. Well, our backs are against the yeah. wall and we have to change so our tell ways. Every, tell everyone what your uh, housemate said to the single representative <laughs> that came around. Well, representing all the families, I may say, and hmm. Hamish's uh, direct neighbours yeah. and neighbourhood. Well, there's a couple of the family next door. We have a shared wall and uh, they have some young kids. I think they've sort of got like a three and a five-year-old. Yeah. And you can hear the kids running around during the day, like the footsteps up and down the hallway. Uh, small price to pay. But my housemate Hayden decided to get on the offensive, rather than when the representative came around and said the neighbours are unhappy about your late-night chat, musical chat sessions. Yeah. Hado said, well, because the guy said, look, you know, your next-door neighbours have got kids and the kids are kept up by it. And, we, and I said, that's fair enough, you know, that's, I'm sorry that's happened, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Hado tried to go on the offensive and he said, well, you know, the bloody kids are running around all day, they keep me up all day. <laughs> They keep me awake all day, and so I guess I'm keeping them awake at night. Even Stephen. The guy said, don't you have a job? (laughs) To which Hayden's answer is no. Don't worry about what I do, mate. They're keeping me up all day long. (laughs) 131060. 
Have people started a union against you? I suppose it's when people band together against you, whether yeah. it's your family or at work. Yeah, it could it's be not fun. Mates. It's not fun when everyone no. bands together against you. Because when one person does, you think that you can get around quick enough to yeah. get your own team. Right. We have no, done this. no choice now but to, to mend bridges. Yeah. <laughs> Haim, your neighbours have banded together. They've been smart. Yeah. <clears throat> they, Clever. Clever. The power of the unions. Yeah, exactly. They've unionised. They now are a lobby group. Whereas before yeah. we just had individual... Yeah. Niggles and glares and unhappiness. Yeah. Now they've got a unified front. Yeah. We have no choice but to change our ways. You're you're Britain. You're you're England. Sorry. Yeah. In Braveheart. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're William Wallace. They've gone around yeah. the Irish. Yeah. Guy, guy, the... the guy down on the corner. He's William Wallace. <laughs> yeah. He's banded everyone together. He's very charismatic. He came to speak to us, and I was very impressed with the way he spoke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if 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 they weren't against us and our household, I'd join them because I really like him. <laughs> <laughs> Chris on thing ten sixty. All the neighbours around you started a union. Against you, mate. They're not happy with us, boys. Yeah, what, 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 happened, is it, what is it, Chris? Made me, um, my mate. He's a pretty successful young guy. He's only twenty-three. Um, built himself a brand new house in a brand new neighbourhood. Beautiful. Um, but he, he's just, he's just like every other young guy. Loves a beer. Um, we don't have any grass on our front lawn. Mm. We don't have um, our house isn't rendered. So the neighbourhood got together. They come in and said, oh. Knocked on his door and said, can you please get some grass and can you render your house because it looks terrible. Oh, so oh, they've got really? an aesthetic issue. Yeah, mate. Yeah, it's the outside. So, oh, just cool. fix up your ugly house, please. <laughs> can you love can, the neighbours. Can people do that? Can people have a go at the look of your house? Well, apparently they all got together and said, um, you know, I, I guess they might think it might be bringing the... Um, the value of the street down or something because we've got... No but it's drug. your property. Render yeah. a big set of boobs on the front yeah. wall, I'd yeah. say. That's probably what he's saving up for. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was successful. What else are you going to spend your money on? <laughs> I'd say go on the offensive. Yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah sure, like, I'll render it. I'll re- <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for a lot of tourists to be in the street. <laughs> Anna, you've started a union. I did. Um, last week, or last year, long weekend, I think around Labor Day, neighbours, brand new neighbours, went out to Phillip Island for the day. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, their alarm went off at nine o'clock in the morning. Oh. It didn't stop till midnight. And so, Anna, on a one strike, you're out policy, did you go, <laughs> around, did you go around to all the neighbours? Yep, and, I did. And then what do you do then? Is it some kind of petition? Is it, how do you... Well, the thing is, because... And next door, they hadn't been able to switch off their alarm from the phone. They didn't get their sister. I just suggested, you know, just yank the cables out of the box. No, that's just the logical idea. Let's not do that. Yeah. Um, so I actually went around to all the neighbours that could hear the alarm, yeah. had a good chat to them. A lot of us have young kids, and they had school the next day. And yeah. your 13-hour alarm is probably not the funnest thing in the world to no, hear. Sure. So, um, yeah, we all just rallied, and we kind of did a bit of a time slot thing. And... Um, yeah, we all kind of said, I'll have my alarm on 20 minutes between here and then. And all the houses around us, from 9 o'clock in the morning to midnight, we had our alarms on. Oh, to get them back? For them. Yep, just for them. Wow. Okay. So, so, oh, this thing's got real. So we're not their favourite neighbours now. No, you wouldn't be, Anna. <laughs> I often wonder, though, when it comes to unions, mm. like there's a guy behind my dad where he lives yeah. who came around and said, I think a lot of the uh, neighbours are angry with your willow tree. Mm. And Dad went. What are their What are their names? Show me, show me your names. Yeah. Show me yeah, your you, numbers. You're allowed to do that as the victim of a union. You're allowed to ask <laughs> for a list. Hey Anna, yeah. um, you can help me here. I think because you are the leader of a union, mm. and I'm I'll fi- try, yeah. and I'm fighting a union yeah. at the moment. Um, my strategy, our theory from the household was to deliver bottles of champagne and a and a sorry note to the immediate neighbours. Now, since the issue is parties. Are they just going to – does that just send the wrong message that we have too much champagne on our hands? I'm pretty sure they might turn that champagne bottle around and use it as a weapon against you, Hamish. So you're getting the wrong message. What should you you send, though? But how do I I thaw the icy relations here? Send around a sleeping cap to to, (laughs) a a Um, pillow. I don't know. Our our neighbours ended up just grovelling. Grovel? Okay. Grovelling. Just grovel. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm a bit busy tonight, but I'll send Hado around to grovel. (laughs) Sheila, (laughs) your neighbours started a union against you as well. Yeah, and a petition. Oh, no, petition. petition. That's what I'm dreading, Sheila. Yeah. What, what, is, what did the petition read? Um, I, well, I was only 18 and it was the first time I'd moved out of home and it was with four other blokes and I was like the only girl and um, we, we had live bands and stuff, like they'd play in the, in the lounge room like it was our kitchen 
eggs and I was a massive Simpsons fan and apparently when I used to come up at night I used to yell woohoo okay. <laughs> and the guy next door to us uh, nicknamed me the woohoo girl yeah. and um, he got the street to draw up a petition and we had to move out oh that's what do the you ultimate. Mean? How, how could you? How did, like, how'd you have to move? Like, because you were renting, and they talked to the landlord. Is that right? Well, I'm I'm not quite sure how how he went about it. Like, it was because I worked at the local at the local pub, and he I know the bloke next door. He was a nice guy. Just didn't like how loud we were, and I used to see him in the bar all the time, and used to make jokes about, oh yeah, the woohoo girl, rah rah rah, and Sheila, was, how, why would he da- why would he dare mess with you if you could ban him from the pub? <laughs> I know who is this guy? Exactly, who? I serve him beer, goddammit. Well, Sorry. don't anymore. That's the message. <laughs> don't don't serve him beer. Thank you, Sheila. Worrying signs, Ando. Worrying signs of the power of what a petition can do. You're out, man. You can't stat mine either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> hey, Mission Andy.